this is how we can start to correct like the, the, the generations to come to where they can be produced more out of love versus lust. You see? That's what we're saying here. Because lust is uh, an illusion. Like, it's, 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 it's temporary. That's the word I'm looking for. This, this, this lustful feeling is going to be temporary. You see what I'm saying? And now, again, a baby is involved. We, we, we're talking about when this marriage between man and woman comes through, like we're saying with this example here, of a lustful energy. Now, on the flip side of that, you see, you got the opportunity to have your spirit man a little cleaned up more, a little, uh, a little more mature. You, you see what I'm saying? To where you're attracting a different vibration of a woman. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when, when, when this energy of a higher vibration comes together and marry, because again, we got to know that when male and female have sex, when the male enters that woman physically with the magic stick, marriage just took place. That's law. You see, that's universal law. So you, what, what are we saying here? You're exchanging spirits. You're becoming a part of her. She's becoming a part of you. When you get up and you know how we do, you see what I'm saying? Let's keep it 100, you know what I mean? Because I, I am a father of five with three different women. I'm, I'm transparent enough to let you know. You know what I'm saying? I already know what this do. You feel me? From a ex experience point of point of view here, like I'm, I'm speaking from experience. You see? Now, when that marriage you see happen and you exchange these spirits, of course you become you see what I'm saying one or the other. Now, like I'm saying, when we do what we do as men, I I don't I don't I don't jump back with her. You see what I'm saying? And went and jumped in with, 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 with her, with the other one. But she didn't know. See, there's a whole, this is a deep conversation here because as it relates to spirits here, you can agree. You can have an agreement within the, the, the participants here, meaning a polygamous type situation is totally different. Now, I'm not promoting it, but we're just speaking uh, science here and law. Now, when you are in agreement, but you don't condone it, do you? Uh, and I, <laughs> okay. And, 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 I, and I ain't gonna okay. say I ain't gonna say that I condone it, but I'm I will say that I don't have an issue with it either okay. because I'm a realist. You see? Okay. And and, I and it yeah, already. And where there's you see what I'm saying realness, you can find it, and I, I ain't gonna run from that. So that's why I'm explaining it to the T of like, if you and your partners, you see, like if you and these females are in agreement, then that's a totally different conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I'm getting up with her yeah. and going over there and laying down with her, and her she don't know that I'm laying, going over there to lay down with her, then we see we exchange the spirits that's becoming unfamiliar with one another. So when I get out of bed with her and come back to her, she see this spirit on me from her, and she like. What, what you, what you, what you, all the, you see, all, whatever. You see, we're going to have a conflict of interest here as it relates to the spirit realm. That's what's important, family, because what we have been doing, my family in the past, we're saying here, we have been procreating with just lustful spirits. You see, that this, these, a lot of times, these are the examples when the, the, the bashing starts. Because y'all wasn't even really spiritually connected to begin with. You see how that worked? That lust brought you together. So lust can't keep you together. That's law. You see how we're working here? Now, let's think about this, family. If these babies coming out of the seventh and eighth grade get this knowledge, don't you think that their decision making as it relates to procreating can be a whole lot healthier than ours was? 